Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, I'm, I stand to honor the life of Sergeant Thomas Sanfrontello, who died tragically in the line of duty on March 10th of this year. <clears throat> Sergeant Sanfrontello was a decorated 32-year veteran of the Genesee County Sheriff's Office in my district. Beginning as a dispatcher in February of 1992, he rose through the ranks, becoming a deputy sheriff in 1996 and earning a promotion to sergeant in 2007. For more than three decades, he dedicated himself to serving and protecting the people of Genesee County. The excellence and commitment he brought to his work was well known. He was twice honored as Deputy of the Year. He was a devoted father to his three children, Ian, Kyla, and Alexis, and loved spending time with his family. <clears throat> He was also a town board member in the town of Alexander. So in his spare time, he still served the people of his, of his town. He was an avid sports fan, and his favorite teams were the New York Yankees and the Buffalo Sabres. In remembering Sergeant Sanfrontello, uh, Sheriff William Sharon said, Tommy never said no. If you needed something, Tommy was there. It didn't matter who you were or what time of the day or night it was. If he could help you, he would help you. Sergeant Sanfratello's sacrifice reminds us of the risk our law enforcement officers take in order to keep us and our communities safe. Sergeant Sanfratello's life was tragically cut short while he was on special assignment at Batavia Downs. Two individuals in the casino, a man and a woman, were creating a disturbance and asked to leave. As Sergeant Sanfratello tried to escort them out of the facility, they became violent. The man who had a long criminal history reportedly attacked Sergeant Sanfratello, who became, then became unresponsive and ultimately lost his life. Just 54 years old, there is no question that Sergeant Sanfratello was taken too soon. This tragic incident illustrates the dangers that our law enforcement personnel face so that we don't have to. Just two weeks after Sergeant Sanfratello, another brave law enforcement officer lost his life in the line of duty. NYPD officer Jonathan Diller died in Queens on March 25th, reportedly from a gunshot from a career criminal he stopped for a traffic violation. <clears throat> and just a few days ago, an investigator with the Shimon County Sheriff's Office was gravely injured by two suspects he was attempting to apprehend and remains hospitalized in critical condition. Assaults on our law enforcement officers have increased dramatically. In New York City alone, there has been a 20% rise in the assaults on cops. These are dangerous days for New York State and especially for our law enforcement officials. Our members of law enforcement and their families live with the knowledge that when they say goodbye to head to work, it may be the last time. As we mourn the loss of Sergeant Sanfratello and send our condolences to his family, we can't help profoundly be grateful and in awe of his legacy and his devotion and his courage. May Sergeant Sanfratello rest in peace and may God bless and protect his brothers and sisters in law enforcement. Thank you, Mr. President.